Hello, hello, my people. Good morning. Good morning to you, one and all. How are you today? God is good and God is good all the time. I am here this morning giving God thanks in my devotion here. And what I am about to do to say to you today, let us be content with whatever we have. God always give us the heart and the desire to be contented with whatever we have. The smallest things, let be contented with it. So this morning, I am here this morning to say to you, let us be content to one and all. Yes, my people, morning to you one and all this morning. I am here this morning giving thanks another morning. And this morning, you know, when I look and I, and I look through and I realize to be content and to be humble. And I just want to thank God for the word. And the word this morning, every time I remember Philippians 4, you know, when I remember Philippians 4 verse 11 at all times, saying to us we must be content in the little that we have. Be content with whatever God has given to you. Don't let us stray our mind across the border you know of, of for people other people things be content be humble right and god will carry us through right and as let us read first of all this morning we're going to read the scripture philippians 4 verse 11 i'm going to read it right now to say let you know that that it is coming straight from the word of god yes not, not that I speak in respect of what, for I have learned in what sober state I am, therefore, to be content. To be content. And the word content means that we must be humble ourselves, we must satisfy, put it that word in, of the smallest thing that you have. You don't stretch your head across, you know, for, for, for people things, no, never. Just be humble yourself and be contented in all areas of life. If you have this, the, see, we're speaking the Christmas is coming here now. What you have, if it's one sheet you have, wash it, because right shortly here, you, you, you was using that one sheet. So not because of Christmas coming, you go long, you use, we use the Jamaican terms, long eye then, the word, right? And, and, and stretch out, worry yourself, break down your nerves, just for the one, month, one, one day, Christmas, you know, wash it and put it on back. Wash the curtain, hang it up back. If it's the one you have, right? No mad mind your neighbor. Don't bad mind others. Just be content. Just be content. Hard time ahead of us. The time is hard, right? Anybody know about Jamaica? You know the time is very hard, especially when you're not working. Some, uh, not even when you're working. Because sometimes you're working and you, we can't meet the demands as though we want, want it to. So we have to just be humble and take it one step at a time. Just one step at a time. And deal with the situation. Deal with the hardship. Deal with the situation. Thank God, you know, for, for, for everything. Just thank God for everything. And God will carry us through, right? And because of that this morning, I just want to say to you this morning to be content in the little that we have right and if you think as like I'm telling just read straight to Philippians 4 go straight down the line and it will tell you mm -hmm. verse 11 12 going straight down and it will tell you about to be contented content right be sober be be, be, be humble humble yourself man right and a, and a long eye after people things right because those things will put us in the problem those things will lead us stray right and we don't want to get out of hand that's why you know i always like this song that sing that ride out your storm 
right? Because when we are going through our storm, when we are going through our difficult situation in life, we have to just humble, we have to just pray. And God will just ride out the storm, right? And you may be wondering, week before last, it was a hectic hardship. And this week, it just runs smooth, right? Why? Because you pray. Because you try to move away from, from the, you know, you try, you, you don't put yourself in one position. So you, you try to keep on praying to God and God is hearing your prayer. Right. God will answer your prayer. And God just take time and you just right there, you just humble yourself and just ride out the storm. And you know, everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Just to be content with whatever the little that we have. Share the little that you have. Stretch it, man. Stretch it. Share it. Right? As do it may be small, but if you can share it, share it. And you're frightened to see how God multiply in many ways. God will do the multiplying in many ways for us. So the, this morning, I just want to say to somebody this morning, to encourage someone maybe watching this video right now, just to say, be contented for the little that you have in this season here. Because this season is a testing season when it comes on a Christmas. We've been fighting for what we, don't, we can't even, you know, reach. But just be humble yourself. And God will just take you through the process. Be humble yourself. I am here this morning and I try my best. I am, I be content with what I have. The little that I have, I try to stretch it. I try to, you know, no matter, sometimes you go, you, you, somebody, you maybe have just a little bit of flour in the pan. Or, you know, just to show you an example. And you, somebody come to you and say, can I beg you a little, whatever, whatever. And you may be wondering and say, but it just it's just a little I have stretch it man give give something to somebody and before the ending of the day you're frightened to see how god work it out you're frightened to see how god work it out and you feel much more better in yourself and feel much more content in yourself so this morning i just want to say when i read on Philippians chapter 4, my mind just feel comfortable. Many times when I'm going through struggling, I remember that scripture. And when I remember that scripture, I just draw it to myself and say, Yes, man, I am going to be content with what I have. The little that I have, I'm going to be satisfied and make God work out this, 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 this solution for me. Make God work it out for me. So this morning, I just want you to just Hold on. Pray a word of prayer before you even go outside. Whisper a word of prayer. If you open the fridge and if nothing is not there, just whisper a word of prayer. God will answer you. And if you open the fridge and there is nothing, just whisper a word of prayer. Before the end of the day, just have the faith and the confidence to know that. To be content with the smallest thing that you have. Later on, it's going to be a big, big thing. Yes, that is what I have to say to you this morning. To be contented. Before I leave, you know that I'm going to leave a, a word of encouraging prayer to let you be content. Most righteous and eventually, Father, we come before your presence this morning. I just want to thank you for whatever you have done, whatever you're about to do. I pray, mighty God, to stretch forth your hands upon each and every one that are here right now, maybe listening. I pray, mighty God, that you may multiply. I pray, mighty God, that you may work out the dark spot to let somebody be content in their doing and in their thinking. Father God, because without you in the midst of every storm, without you in the midst of our storms, Father God, we pray that you may step in the gap right now Cover us under your blood. Provide for us. Make ways. The time is hard, but it's God. We know. We, we, we have the ability to anchor ourselves in your, put our life into your hand, and you will do the rest. And mighty God, we just want to thank you for everything in Jesus' name. Yes, my people, have a blessed and prosperous rest of 
Monday morning here. Right? You know, my Monday morning for everyone is a hectic morning. It's a morning that, you know, we, 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 we wake up in the morning and who's not all, who, who's going to work, maybe rushing, and who going to school, and who's to, who's to ever at home. It is a hectic morning every area. So this morning, let us put our mind, our soul, our body, and all our well-being to be content. Yes, bye. Have a blessed rest of the day. Bye, my people.